Lyndon Harris, an Episcopal priest, was serving at historic St. Paul's Chapel nearby the Twin Towers when the attacks came. In the days after 9-11, St. Paul's became a support center for the rescue workers and the families of victims. Now, several years later, the initial anger Harris felt has given way to a different and what some would say controversial response. Harris is trying to gain support for the creation of a garden of forgiveness at or around the Ground Zero site. What we hope to do is to present a meditation garden where people can come and at least reflect on the possibility of forgiveness. And by that, we don't mean that we in any way excuse horrific acts by evil people. We don't in any way uh, condone acts of violence or terrorism. Uh, what we want to do is we want to invite people to decide intentionally to opt out of that cycle of violence and revenge. Harris has been helping to launch gardens of forgiveness in other cities, but doing so around ground zero, where most of the space is spoken for and feelings remain so raw, may be a near impossible challenge. I think it's absurd. I don't think we should forgive the people who did this to us. I was very delighted when I was told that's what you guys were doing. I think it's overdue. You know, forgiveness is uh, what we're supposed to do. I think if we don't show a little forgiveness, then we're no better than the terrorists that, that acted upon it in the first place. And For some people that would work, but other people, they have so much anger inside of them that they're never going to be able to forgive the people who did this to them, especially people who lost close loved ones. I think that these families need some closure, and the only way they're going to get closure is to see when justification is done on the man that put out the attack. And that, that's the, one of the major misconceptions about forgiveness. I can be hurt by you and decide that I have to make sure that you don't hurt me again. I can do it with hatred in my heart, or I can do it with some sense of compassion for my predicament, or I can do it with a sense of forgiving the human qualities that lead people to do harsh, violent acts but I still want to make sure I'm safe. And what we're suggesting is through our garden is that you reflect on ways to keep yourself safe without having to be as hate-filled or as vengeance-minded as the, the people who did this to us. But I would not say to any family, you must forgive, because that's an individual choice. And far be it from me, not having suffered the loss of a family member on 9-11, to tell anyone who did, that they have to get on with their lives. These signs are all over. While the idea of a garden of forgiveness has met with resistance, it has support from a number of families who lost loved ones on 9-11, including Diane Horning, who lost her son, Matthew, Rose Fody, who lost her son, Robert, and Lynn McGuinn, who lost her husband, Frank. Are they, are they in oh, there he is. Francis Noel McGuinn. Did he pronounce it Noel or Noel? Noel. Oh, is that Noel because of Christmas? Yes. I think America's ready for some sort of shake-up idea. It needs to change. The thought processes need to move from I've been wronged to I would like to uh, embrace another idea instead of anger, instead of bitterness, instead of war, instead of hate, instead of bias or prejudice. Um, these are not things we need to be teaching our children. We need a garden of forgiveness. I don't know that we're ready for it. I really don't know.